Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachachakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, starting with the 144,000 prophets and the rest of the one third men, women, and children that are listening and learning, and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability day in and day out. So, this is uh, just a quick article from The Hill. It says, studies, study warns five states at high risk for election-related armed violence by militia groups. <clears throat> okay, so, um, you know, that's, that's the, the, uh, the vibration that's, that's been going out. You know, that's out right now, man. Um, as the scriptures tells you that, you know, there's a time of uh, uh, love and there's a time for hate. There's a time of war and then there's a time of peace. And, you know, as we can clearly see that... Babylon the Great in this world really is just in a constant state of chaos, anarchy, you know, uproars of the people, you know, uh, you know, against each other and against the governments. So, you know, this is why the Lord, you know, uh, um, told us that we have to continually be uh, sober minded and be diligent, you know, uh, vigilant um, about our, you know, our conduct, you know, uh, being circumspect because, Hey, the, these days are evil, man. Let me um, I'll pull that up real quick before I read this article. You know, um, these days that we're that we're living in are very, you know, um, evil, evil times, man. So it's our it's our, you know, it will behoove us to continually be, you know, as much as possible in uh, that holy conversation um, and um, holy conversation and, and being circumspect. Let's see. Redeeming. Um, Ephesians chapter five, verse six, it says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right. And, and that word, you know, redeeming time, meaning what? Using your times uh, wisely. OK, we should both us, the, the ones that are in the truth, the ones that are in the know. OK, we should be using our time, you know, uh, that we have right now to become, you know, uh, uh, build up our faith, build up our wisdom, our knowledge, our understanding you know, our fear in the Lord, you know, and watching uh, for the things that are happening right now, you know, not being ignorant of what is going on in the world. So it says, why? Because the days are evil, meaning what? We are in our ba uh, bad times. So going to the article, it says a study released last week, and this article came out October 27th, 2020. So that was about four or five days ago. All right, last Tuesday, so about six days ago. It said, um, a study released last week warned that five states are at high risk of experiencing election-related armed violence from militia groups. A joint report released last Wednesday by the Armed Con uh, Conflict Location and Event Data Project, a, milita a militia watch determined Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Oregon to be at high risk for increased militia activity leading up to and following the election, which the election is tomorrow, it says the U.S. Today reported on this study on Tuesday. ACLED and Militia Watch cautioned in the, in the report that the militias may be active in capitals, peripheral towns, medium population size, uh, medium population cities and suburban areas with central centralized zones. So <laughs> uh, uh, that's just yeah, that's you no. Know, any any part of a uh, of a uh, city or community, you know, and, and they and they have these five different uh, states as being high risk, but that's not to say that the that other states are not going are not at risk. Any uh, also, so it says the joint the joint uh, report also said North Carolina, Texas, Virginia, California, and Mich and New Mexico are at moderate risk to experience act uh, active militias. So that's what. One, two, three, four. That's another ten, uh, another ten, uh, another five uh, states. Okay, that are that they deemed as being either high or moderate risk of you no know, violent from militia groups. It says militia groups and other armed and and that's what that's what a uh, uh, civil war right there, man. Okay, civil unrest, civil war, and not just some rioting, not just some protesting, but actually you know fatalities can can spark off because of this election. All right, it says militia groups and other armed non-state actors 
pose a serious threat to the safety and security of American voters. Now, what would they do if this if this was the cause to happen? What would the government do? They would bring in what? Martial law, man. And that's the spirit. All right. Uh, uh, Salakian, I thought I said bring in the old, never the new. Uh, Salakian. Anyway, but they were bringing up what? Martial law, man, because they're going to have to try to take control of, you know, a uh, recontrol of uh, uh, of the situation. And the only way that they would be able to do that is by bringing in martial law and uh, shutting down or, or, or making curfews, you know, and uh, uh, bringing them bringing the military in to combat these militia groups. So it says um, throughout the summer and leading up to the general election, these groups have become more assertive with activities ranging from intervening in protests to organize kidnapping plots and targeting elected officials. They write that the group train to er that the groups train for urban and rural combat. A in a, in a good movie to see to, that portrays this is Bushwick. OK, that movie Bushwick. And other, you know, uh, uh, what do you want to call them? I guess apocalyptic type of uh, movies portray these things happening, man. So it says um, they, they write that, that the group trains for urban and rural combat use propaganda and act as security operations for online and in-person events. There is an increasing narrative and trend that groups are organizing to supplement the work of law enforcement or to place themselves in a narrowly defined public protection role in parallel with police departments of a given locale, the report said. The report names nine militias as the most active in the United States that could take action leading up to or after the election, including three percenters, Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, Lightfoot Militias, so, uh, civilian Defense Force, American Contingency, Patriot pra Prayer, Bogolo Boys, and people's rights. Sam Jones, an ACLED spokesman, told USA Today his organization and Militia Watch have tracked more than 80 groups since the beginning of the summer, with most being right wing groups. OK, and now you also have what these uh, these uh, uh, agent provocateurs claiming to be uh, you know, black militias and then throwing throwing the name of Israel or, or wearing fringes, you know, basically trying to set up being used to set up uh, uh, the men of the Lord, okay, the believers, because you have, uh, um, as, as the Lord said, that what, they, these devils are going to come in like a flood, man, okay, and these people, they out here marching and, and, and talking about, you know, uh, grabbing guns and, and bringing a fight to them, when that's completely against the will of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai, man, but these devils are going to, you can, you know, are going to use those those people as a uh, as a gateway to demonize all of all of the 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 the, the men all right and women that fear the Lord because the scripture tells you that they're going to come down with that wrath upon upon uh, the believers man second Ezra 16 verse uh 70 for there should be in every every place and in the next city, Cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right. A insurrection meaning what? An uprising. Okay. And the ones that fear the Lord are who? The Israelites, man. You know, specifically starting with the elect. But all of Israel are, work, work, are commanded to fear the Most High. So it says, they should be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So even these militias, all right, claiming themselves to be, uh, as it said up here, uh, public protection uh, in a public protection role or a supplement to the work enforce uh, uh, or a supplement to uh, the work of law enforcement, they can they can basically claim themselves be be you know uh, 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 acting on a part of doing you know. Uh, um, what is it called? Doing public service, okay? You know, uh, uh, saying we're making the citizens arrest or or what so have you. Like I said, watch that movie, um, the uh, Bushwick. That's a perfect example of this right here, man. So it says, um, still, these risks do not mean that violence is inevitable. Which violence is inevitable? Because 
ultimately is a part of the the the, the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because it's prophecy. Okay, let's get that too. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse uh 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with and swords in their hands. For there should be shall be, excuse me, sedition among men and invading one another. So what is an invasion? These militia groups can invade your city, these towns, these cities, these states, the capital, your houses. Okay, people are going to people are going to uh, have this mentality that they can just do whatever they want to do, and that's and that is and that's according to the scripture. It says it right here. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So they're not going to regard the local enforcement. They're not going to regard the government. Which the government, you know, and you know, from from the elites on down, they're the ones that's causing all this mentality of being able to grab guns and, and violence, and you know, by way of what, uh, uh, making chaos, man. Okay, they they make this chaos, and then they're going to bring in that martial law to bring back order. But that order is going to be a new world order. It's not going to bring back order to what people are, were accustomed to before all this hell is breaking loose. No, they're going to say, well, we got to continue to bring in these peacekeepers, you know, the UN peacekeepers and, and, and uh, 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 you know, foreign, mil foreign military, all right, or whether it be the federal government, um, uh, um, the, the military, whatever, but we got to continue to have the military operating, you know, and, and patrolling the streets because we can't have no more, uh, the, no more disorder in these streets. So it says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So whatever they want to do, these people, you know, guns at an all-time high, uh, gun sales at an all-time high, all these militia groups, they got tactical uh, weaponry and, and all these things, all right? So they're going to have the course of their actions, meaning whatever, whatever will that they want to do is going to stand in their power, because they're not going to regard the, the, the uh, government. And then what is the government going to do And as a, as a counteract to that? You no, know, lock shit down, lock everything down. It says a man shall desire to go into a city and not and shall not be able. So let's say in one of these cities, you know, the, the militia groups is out there. They fighting, you know, civil war basically breaking out in the, in, the, in the city and your family's over there. They lock down that whole city. So you can't even go to get, you know, go to that city to try to, you know, help out your mother or your, your daughter or, you know, your son. OK, or your cousin, whatever. OK, that's that's the times that we can we clearly see that we're in right now. That's the season that we're in. And it's in the and, and it's very apparent and, and it's it's in the air, man. All right. It's it's right there. It says um, still these these risks do not mean that violence is inevitable. Jones said voters should not be intimidated. Rather, we hope people are able to use the data to evaluate their own threat environment and organize locally to stay safe, reduce polar polarizations in the community, and ultimately mitigate the risk of violence. Because it, mean, it says what? Reduce polarization, meaning separation, division. But that's how this, that's, what did Yahweh Shah say? Uh, a house divided cannot stand. A kingdom divided, uh, uh, into, uh, divided amongst itself shall be brought to desolation. And it's very evident that this place, Babylon, is divided on every sector of, of life, man. Okay. People are, are waiting, are, you know, chopping at the bits to get at each other's uh, necks, man. And you Israelites, Jacob are going to be caught up right in the midst of that. And it's been, and, and these devils, so all these different right wing, right wing uh, groups, the three percenters, the proud boys, the oath keepers, all these different uh, groups, man, who do they look at as the problem? Going back to that divine, dissension that is between Jacob and Esau. Esau has a perpetual hatred towards you Israelites, man. All right? You so-called Negroes and Latinos, Native Americans. So this is why you need your power because your power is not in the gun. Your power is not in your is not in money. Your power is in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And that's why it is written that what? That we're supposed to um, wait ye upon the Lord, man, to the day that he rises up to the prey. Zephaniah 3, verse 8. Therefore, therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. 
For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. So this is all ultimately what the Lord is doing. It is written that what? That he that he uh, uh, dealeth in the kingdoms of men. But our our you know job, our power lies in the trust and faith of the Lord, man. Knowing that the Lord uh, uh, will provide a way for us to escape all these things if we are found worthy. And how are you found worthy to escape these things? By taking heed unto yourself, as Yahweh Shai said, all right? By purging your spirit, okay? By repenting. That's what we are required to do so that the Lord can deliver us in these days, man, by way of, as it is written in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, sending uh, angels, sending angels to, uh, to protect us, to deliver us, all right? Spiritual power for us to be able to, whether we have to, you know, uh, um, defend ourselves, defend our, our, our family, our loved ones, okay, or whether we have to flee in a miraculous way. That is what the Lord is going to do for us, man. Okay, it says, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for the earth shall be, for, for the earth, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So let's finish it out. It says, the joint report title standing by right-wing militia groups and the U.S. election. Hey, <laughs> this is how you know it's through. At what point in time have you have in my all my 31 years of my life, I've never heard of, of, of such a heightened violence and heightened tension around a U.S. election, man. Even when Obama got uh, you know elected president, the, what they deemed as the first black president, it, it didn't and nothing was happening like this. You see? But why? Because we are this is the time, man. That as the scripture says, though it tarry, wait for it. You know, for it for should surely come to pass. The vision is yet for an appointed time. And all these visions of, of the great insurrection, the visions of the sedition among men, the visions of the seasons of war, all right, the sedition of nation shall rise against nation. I mean, the vision of nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Okay. The vision of, uh, uh, for because of uh, iniquity shall, uh, because iniquity abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Egyptian versus Egyptian. All right. Let's see, let me get that too. All those visions of, all this chaos and pandemonium that was written, that was going to happen, all right, the uproars of the people that was written is going to happen in these last days. <laughs> this is the time that we're in right now, man. All right, Isaiah 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, okay? Left wing versus right wing, uh, Democrat versus Republican, black versus white. Because all these Babylonians, if you're not, a, if you're not, if you're an Israelite, but you're not in the Israelite. Uh, uh, you're not of the Israel of the Most High, then you they, basically you're considered a Babylonian, all right? You're a Gentile in the mind. It says, I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. Yeah, people are not going to be taking <laughs> heed to wise counsel, man. People are going to be bugging out and, and unstable. And that instability is going to call is going to breed chaos, and that chaos is going to breed what violence. All right, so this is why we have to take counsel of Yahweh Bashim Yahushad, not to take counsel of this world, man. You see, so it says uh, takes its name from President Trump's comment at the first presidential debate when he was asked to condemn white supremacy in the Proud Boys, and he responded, "Stand back and stand down." So hey, you no, know, so there you got it. So this is, you know, tomorrow is the election. Hey, if it be the Lord's will and, and stuff pop off, they, you know, we we uh, uh, hasten that day, man, because we know that all these things must come to pass. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, this is edifying to the elect. Stay watching and stay prayed, man. Call Lord Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Rakakwa Dash, Shalom.